Hello, my name is Thomas Lundblad, and I live in Uppsala in Sweden. And I'm doing this video recording to explain my personal urgent emergency situation. And it's really urgent. But first I want to sing a song, Streets of London. Have you seen the old man in the Clueston market? Picking up the papers with his worn out shoes. In his eyes you see no pride, and you see that his eye. Yesterday's paper turning yesterday's news. How can you tell me your love? And say for you that the sun don't shine. Let me take you by the hand and lead you to the streets of London. I show you something to make you change your mind. Have you seen the old girl who walks the streets of London? Dirt in her hair and her class in rags. She's no time for talking, she just keeps right on walking. Carrying her home, reading to carry her bags. How can you tell me your lonely and say to you that the sun won't shine? Let me take you by the hand and lead you to the streets of London. I show you something to make you change your mind. In the all night cafe at the quarter past to them, same old man sitting there on his own, looking at the world over the rim of his teacup. It still lasts an hour and he wanders home alone. How can you tell me your lonely and say for you? Let me take you by the hand and lead you to the streets of London. I show you something to make you change your mind. Have you seen the old man outside the Siemens mission? Memory fading with the metal ribbons that he wears. In our winter city, the rain cries a little bit for one of the golden hero and a word that doesn't care. How can you tell me your long and say to you that the sun don't shine? Let me take you by the hand and lead you through the streets of London. I show you something to make you change your mind. Just there, yes, there is a, a big problem in, in, in UK, I have heard on YouTube. But uh, I know I have my own personal emergency situation. And I want to declare first of all that I want to be honest. I don't want to lie about anything about this um, fundraising on Facebook. So my situation now is that I have no home at all. Because this motor home where I'm living in now and I have been living here for 18 months. It's not possible to use as a home any longer because the engine has collapsed has collapsed during the time I've been here on this parking place and I have been paying the parking fees all the time. But um, I have been here 18 months and the owner of this parking place don't want me to stay and I don't want to stay either. I want to have a solution on this problem, but I don't have any home. And I can't uh, move this away because the engine has collapsed and it's not possible to mend it. And I know for sure that it's not possible to mend because I have discussed this on a motorhome forum, forum on the internet. Uh, what happens was that 
a plastic drain plug uh, fell from the bottom of the cooler and all the water in the cooler fell down. And uh, when I tried to start it, uh, this happened. And I, I made a very big mistake. I didn't check on the temperature indicator. I was so occupied with the accelerator pedal and the shock and so on. So I, I missed that. So I, dr I drove the engine for 40 minutes and I went out and, and it stopped then. I went out to check the spark plugs. And I found that the cables to the spark plugs had melted. And I saw that a uh, spark, uh, plastic drain plug had fallen, fallen down on the floor. So the engine collapsed, and it's, the only solution is to buy another engine. But it, it cost 50,000 crowns, a refurbishment from, from a company in the south of Sweden. But um, this uh, motorhome is, um, there is some disadvantage with this motorhome, according to my opinion, because there is only one door, it's an integrated motorhome. The, the model is um, a Pilot Peugeot G5. R800 from 86 and I bought it for 35,000 crowns and it's the best motorhome I have had but I, I had used it only five days when it happened so this was a very big catastrophe for me I'm suffering from this now and I want to uh, replace this uh, motorhome with another one and uh, I have followed the advertisement now on motorhomes and uh, found that the, the price is between 35,000 crowns to 50,000 crowns. But it's difficult to find one for 35,000 crowns uh, because it's not often when they are uh, such motorhomes. And, and the price is uh, more often uh, up to 50,000 crowns and sometimes some. Uh, some uh, motorhomes in, or even, even more, but I don't want to buy a, a more expensive than 50,000 crowns. I want to buy an 88 uh, years to 92 years model because they are tax free in Sweden. So I'm a really urgent emergency situation because I have no friends and relatives to stay with. I have no other home and the winter is coming and um, I have been here for 18 months. So it's very, very urgent. I feel uh, a, uh, a press, a stress about this issue. It is always in my mind uh, this uh, question that I am not permitted to stay here according to the rules, even if I pay the fees. So this is a nightmare for me, I, I can say, to get a solution to this. So this is very, very urgent. So if you can help, I appreciate it very, very much. I can also mention that I am a born-again Christian. I became a born-again Christian several years ago. And uh, <clears throat> what happens was that I, I didn't have faith in God, but I, but I started to visit a little um, small um, Christian home church near Sundsvall and... Uh, I had some problems because I, had, I am educated in economics and I've been working with auditing a few years after the education at the university. But I got on sick leave because of mental illness, panic syndrome, panic syndrome, and no other mental problems than that. But that was enough. And that's the reason why I got on sick leave for a long time. And during that time, I, I visited a little small Christian home church. And uh, suddenly there, uh, I, I experienced what, what is called a born-again experience, to, got, to became saved. I have very little faith about uh, Jesus Christ and the Bible and God. I, I thought maybe there is life on other planets. And I didn't know anything about uh, the Christian faith. But when I listened to this uh, church, I found that, that they had something there. And I agreed with them that they should pray for me a Sunday. And we, was, we were in a living room a Sunday, and uh, they prayed for me three persons there, three members. And I sat silent. I didn't say anything. I just, I just sat there. And when, when they finished, I became tired, and I, and I slept for 15 minutes. And when I woke uh, then, I was overwhelmed inside about awareness that 
the message in the New Testament about Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is true, and the Bible is true. I was so overwhelmed over this and so happy, and it was, it was with me every day, several years. I was so lucky about this. But I didn't get back to the labor market. I, I made a, a short trial, but I didn't get back. I, 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 uh, I get um, early retired, and so is the situation now. I am, I am a retired person, and I, each month I receive the amount uh, of money, but it's not so much. And uh, if, if I'm trying to save money to, to have enough to buy a motorhome, I can't uh, get uh, so very much money each month. And I, I'm, I, am under, I am under pressure to solve this problem. And if I am saving money each month, uh, a small amount of money, it, it, it is, takes a very long time. So uh, that's the reason why I am doing a fundraiser on Facebook. So that's why I'm asking uh, you to to help. But uh, I want to advise and say that the message in the New Testament is true. And there is a, a scripture in John chapter 3, verse 1 to 6, about to be born again, to see the kingdom of God. So that's very, very important for each person on the earth to ask God or Jesus Christ to be born again and receive forgiveness for all sins and turn away from all sins because um, each person has sinned. Only newborn children are without sin. And uh, it's necessary to follow Jesus Christ uh, uh, after that. And when you have prayed to receive the born again exper the experience, you will receive a confirmation inside. But it's not quite sure that that it will happen immediately. So a very good advice is to not talk against that you are, you have prayed about the born again experience and you will get a confirmation inside. So if it takes a little bit time before you feel this confirmation inside, don't talk against it. Um, and, and be silent about it you will feel a confirmation, I'm quite sure. But you have also to, to leave sins and start to new and follow Jesus Christ and read the New Testament and the old truth there and uh, learn also about to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is coming to a person when he, when he or she is born again, but... Um, it's also necessary to be filled up with the Holy Spirit and to be baptized with the Holy Spirit because it's, uh, it's called the Helper. The, there is, God is three persons, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the Helper. It's necessary to be baptized with the Holy Spirit and it's very, very good to start to pray in tongues because we're living in difficult times and the end times in the New Testament is here. We, we are living the end of, of, the, of, the, of the world. And uh, that's why we have the corona. And uh, Jesus will come back in something that is called the rapture. And uh, this can happen uh, any day. Now, we don't know if, if it's this month or next month or tonight or uh, next year or two years or two years. But in, in any case, it is a short time. Uh, people who are aware about this and study this and following prophetic words, which are published on the Internet, a lot of them, they are um, uh, talking about this uh, very big event. It is the biggest event in the world's history when the rapture happens, because there is, when this happens, uh, hundreds of millions of Christians who are born again uh, and is a part of the bride of Christ will be taken up in the air suddenly without warning, and, and, and the world will get became sh shocked. And after that, it's a few years on the earth left, and it will be the great tribulation, and the Antichrist will be come to power. It will, be, it will be a very difficult time. So it's very important to study this on the internet. There's a, there's a lot of information on the internet about all this person. The first step is to be born again. The next step is to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And, it, and, and it's also necessary to start to follow this 
in acts in small acts and bigger acts and and uh, also praise God and uh, to witness to other people about it. This is very important. There's a lot of people who don't know about this. It's a very, uh, it, it, it's a very uh, important message. It's a very precious message for each person. Even small children need to hear this. This so so it's necessary to take a step towards God and Jesus Christ, honestly, wholeheartedly, because this is free. God is not forcing anyone. So it's necessary to, for you to leave this world with all these um, uh, things. You have to sh choose between the world and this uh, to receive Jesus. Because a lot of things in the world is against God. So it's necessary to wholeheartedly follow Jesus. Thank you for listening. I am very, very grateful if you can help me. With, and, and support this fundraising. I have all the ne necessary uh, informations to give money to my IBAN um, uh, bank account. And um, for people in Sweden, uh, I, I have a Swiss number also, I, uh, which I have um, in, in my text message. And I have also a bank account for Swedish people. So thank you very much for listening, and I appreciate very much if you can help me. Thank you very much.